Welcome to Lighthouse Kinship's devotional video, Mountains Are They Calling? Psalms chapter 95 verses 1 and 4 TPT. Come on everyone, let's sing for joy to the Lord. Let's shout our loudest praises to our God who saved us. In one hand he holds the mysteries of the earth and in the other he holds the highest mountain peaks. Psalm 125, verses 1 and 2, TPT. Those who trust in the Lord are as unshakable, as unmovable as mighty Mount Zion. Just as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord's wraparound presence surrounds his people, protecting them now and forever. Sunday, July 9th, 2023, Monica and I were at Kenosha Lighthouse Studio, Lake Michigan, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Bobby and I started from childhood loving God's mountains. Bobby's grandmother gave him his love for the splendor of the beauty of the mountains. My father gave me the awesome love for the mountain streams, the animals that call the mountains their home, and a peaceful calmness that the mountains bring. I have limited memories of my father, but his love for the mountains has been a blessing to me all throughout my life. Our Savior and Lord has given us three very specific reasons to answer the call of the mountains. The first call of the mountains is the good news. Psalm 48 verses 1 to 3, 12, 13, 14 TPT. There are so many reasons to describe God as wonderful. So many reasons to praise Him with unlimited praise. Zion City is His home. He lives on His holy mountain. High and glorious, joy-filled and favored, Zion Mountain looms in the farthest reaches of the north, the city of our incomparable king. This is his divine abode, an impenetrable citadel, for he is known to dwell in the highest place. Circle Zion, count her towers, consider her walls, climb her palaces, and then go and tell the coming generation of the care and compassion of our God. Yes, this is our God our great God forever. He will lead us onward until the end, through all time, beyond death, and into eternity. Besides proclaiming the good news of our Savior and Lord, we have the beauty and solitude of the mountains to have our heart-to-heart -heart time with our Savior. Jesus Christ, being fully God and fully man, shows us how important it is to have our heart-to-heart -heart time with our Heavenly Father. Luke 6, verse 12, NIV. One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. Matthew 14, verse 23, TPT. After the crowds dispersed, Jesus went up into the hills to pray, and as night fell, he was there praying alone. Not only do we need to proclaim the good news of our Savior and have daily heart-to-heart -heart time with our Savior, but we need our mountain to wrap ourselves in our Savior's presence for strength to overcome the obstacles as well as give praise for the blessings we encounter. 1 Kings 19 verses 11 to 13 NLT Go out and stand before me on the mountain, the Lord told him. And as Elijah stood there, the Lord passed by, and a mighty windstorm hit the mountain. It was such a terrible blast that the rocks were torn loose, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, there was the sound of a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. And a voice said, What are you doing here, Elijah? Exodus 34, verse 29 in LT. When Moses came down Mount Sinai, carrying the two stone tablets inscribed with the terms of the covenant, he wasn't aware that his face had become radiant because he had spoken to the Lord. This concludes our devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship, Mountains are they calling? Psalms chapter 27 verse 4 amplified. One thing I have asked of the Lord and that I will seek, 
that I may dwell in the house of the Lord in his presence all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty, the delightful loveliness, and majestic grandeur of the Lord, and to meditate in his temple. Isaiah 2, 2 and 3 amplified. Now it will come to pass that in the last days the mountain of the house of the Lord will be firmly established as the highest of the mountains and will be exalted above the hills and all the nations will stream to it and many people shall come and say come let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house temple of the God of Jacob that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths for the law will go out from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here at Kenosha Southport Lighthouse, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Come along and journey with us by subscribing to our channel. Hit the little notification bell so that you won't miss our next stop. Please give us a thumbs up, liking our videos, and help us to spread the gospel by sharing these videos on your social media platforms. Thank you for leaving your comments below on how these devotions are helping you, and also your prayer requests so that we know how to pray for you.